Hello everyone. I wanted to take a moment to update you on my wiretapping trial out of Manchester, New Hampshire. As some of you may recall, in late 2011, I reported on a video filmed inside West Manchester High School. This video was taken by a student who recorded Darren Murphy, a Manchester police employee, using excessive force on a teenager. The media picked up the story and the video went viral. Yet, after the media died down, Darren Murphy's colleagues suggested felony wiretapping charges against me. These charges carry a possible 21-year prison sentence. The charges were then passed to Michael Valentine, an employee of the District Attorney's Office of Hillsborough County. Instead of throwing out the bogus charges, Michael chose to prosecute me. Of course, this was after he offered me multiple plea deals, most of which carried no jail time. I refused all these plea deals and ended up going to trial in August of 2012. As expected, since there is no justice inside a United States courtroom, I was found guilty and sentenced to four years in state prison. That sentence was suspended in lieu of five years of good behavior and 90 days in the county jail, 90 days which I have already served. I was then approached by Brandon Ross, an attorney out of Manchester, New Hampshire, while serving the 90-day sentence in Valley Street. He stated that he'd like to re represent me on my appeal pro bono. I agreed, and Brandon went to work on freeing me from these bogus convictions. It took just over a year, but the Supreme Court of New Hampshire did in fact overturn my felony wiretapping convictions, citing a plain error made by the judge during the jury instructions. You think the update would end here, right? It doesn't. Since the conviction was merely voided by the Supreme Court, the original charges could be brought against me again. Most district attorneys most likely would refrain from trying a case like this again, but not Michael Valentine. He's willing to spend more taxpayer money to get me into a cage for as long as possible. Something that scares me greatly. Which is why I'm happy to announce that Brandon Ross has decided to represent me. And again, pro bono. So what can you do to help keep me from a cage? Well, in the description below, you'll find the information for the district attorney's office and Michael Valentine. Yet, I'm not sure I want to spend any time begging these guys to stop harassing me. In my opinion, it's obvious this is personal for them. I don't believe they will stop just because we asked them to stop. I hope you'll consider supporting Brandon. He spent a lot of time on my appeal, which was successful, but he was not paid and had no monetary incentive. He's now willing to do this again to keep me from another kidnapping and caging. If you'd like to thank Brandon, you can find his Bitcoin and PayPal addresses below. Yet, yeah, money isn't the only way to help. If you're in New Hampshire, I have upcoming court appearances on April 29th, June 24th, and a trial, if we get that far, on July 14th. That being said, if you do attend the courtroom circus, I'd like to remind you that this isn't my activism anymore. My only goal whenever I was in the court was to prove that justice can't be found. I feel I've done that with every trial, hearing, and dance in a courtroom I've done. Frankly, I'm tired of it. There is no justice as I wouldn't have been charged in the first place if there were. So my goal is to end this as quickly as possible. It's a very troubling experience for me. So I ask that you respect Brandon's form of activism while in the courtroom. Thank you. And until next time, I'm Adamo Freeman, and remember, badges don't grant extra rights.